the distances traveled, the companion she made of herself, the threadbare twenties not to be underestimated, a wild depression that ripped from January into April, and still she sprouts an appetite, insisting on edges and cores when there were none. I love living in New York. I've been here for close to eight years now, and it's such a vibrant literary city. So on any given night, there's no shortage of readings and talks and book parties that you can attend. I also have a really great community of writer friends here. I love Poet's House. It's one of my favorite spaces in New York. It's been a place that I just come to read voraciously, to write, to think, to daydream, and it's all completely free, which is huge. I, I love that it's a space where the knowledge is accessible to anybody who wants to be here and you can sit for hours looking out on the Hudson and just sort of poking your nose in the stacks, which I've spent many an afternoon doing. When I entered Princeton, I had a lot of enthusiasms and I loved reading poetry. I think I was quite stunned by the kinds of access I had to other publishing writers as an 18-year-old. I was able to take courses with Tracy K. Smith. There was something about Tracy and the kinds of trust she had and how she communicated that felt invaluable at that time. I Love was my first collection of poems and I started writing some of the oldest poems when I was a graduate student in the MFA program at NYU. And after I graduated, I knew I wanted to work on it for much longer. So I slowly added and added work. I radically revised earlier poems until I had something that felt like it was close to a manuscript. I was starting to see that a lot of the poems were loosely organ organized around the moral significance of seeing and perceiving. I completely did not expect at all to make it into any kind of list um, with the National Book Award. And the week of, I had a particularly bad case of poison ivy. And I remember I would, you know, wake up early and, you know, apply all the ointments and such. Someone had tweeted about me and some others being on the list. So I sort of saw that in my inbox. And then soon after my phone, you know, just started vibrating consistently with, with just well wishes from friends. It was an honor to be there, especially with all the finalists. It, it just felt really, really good to be taken seriously. Small losses jammed together so as to gather mass stored generations of filtered quietude and some stubbornness. Tangles along the way the comb teeth of the mind had to bite through, but for what? She had trained herself to look for answers at eye level, but they were lower, they were changing all the time. I want to keep evolving as a thinker, as a writer. So in many ways, I don't feel very solid in this idea of myself as a poet, as an artist. Oftentimes I don't even say, when people ask me what I do that I'm a poet, I might say I write poetry, I teach, um, I teach writing. In some ways, every time I return to the page, and I'm not just saying this for, for some sort of flourish, I feel like I have to teach myself how to write a poem again.